Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the new Geronimo performance pad for the R22 Beta and Beta 2. So this is the third performance pad. Uh, we started with the R44 Raven 2, then Raven and um, Astro. So this one here you can use for the Beta Beta 2. Um, but in fact this weight and balance page here you can use for the R22 Alpha. R22 standard and HP as well because the fuselage is the same so the, the measurements are the same so um, you can use that page for all R22s. So let's have a look what we can do with this page here. Um, before we go into details I give you a short overview over the other pages so here you calculate weight and balance on the performance page you can calculate max continuous power, VNE and OGE, IGE ceilings. Um, on the flight time page you can calculate your actual flight time depending on wind direction, wind velocity, various other factors. And on the helicopter page you can get data about the R22s. Um, you uh, can see airspeed limits, uh, you get definitions and on the system page you can actually send uh, an email to your email address which you can specify here with all the figures that you have calculated on the weight and balance page. Okay, let's go back, weight and balance page. Um, straightforward actually, if you use the sliders that's the quickest way to enter uh, the values. If you want to make it precise um, enter then you can use the enter pad just click on a yellow value and use this enter pad here to enter a value let's say 190 so to get rid of this page um, just click on um, this uh, frame surrounding the value um, by using this um, um, enter pad you can also do conversions for instance you want to convert uh, 50 US gallons and uh, as soon as you enter the value here you immediately get all the other values calculated same with distance 10 nautical miles is 11.5 statue miles for instance okay to get rid of this window just click on the frame again so um, of course you can remove the doors uh, dual controls as well and uh, as soon as you enter values um, the CG limits will be updated on the right side. So at the moment everything is the same takeoff landing and zero fuel because we didn't enter any fuel. So if we do this that's, uh, you will notice when you enter fuel down here um, the main tank starts first because it's mounted a little lower so when you fill up the R22s same with the R44s um, then the main tank fills, fills up first. So um, now you see the Red Cross is moving because the takeoff weight is obviously higher than the zero fuel weight. And as soon as we enter flight time, we see the third cross, the landing weight. So now we have made a basic flight calculation. We have a passenger, well, let's make him a little like that 138 pounds and 190 pounds for the pilot. Um, the flight time would be one hour 20 minutes and we would have 50 minutes of reserve. Um, now let's, get, let's go to um, the table view. There you can actually verify um, the values for weight, arms and moments. So this gives you a graphical overview. The table view is intended for a more detailed overview. So as soon as you uh, change values, you can see those values will be updated. Um, this page here also gives you the opportunity to enter your uh, data from your own helicopters. Um, for instance, if you click here in basic empty weight, just enter yours and um, the, the arm. You can also attach uh, or bring in special items like a camera that is mounted to the helicopter or a special GPS. You can enter those values right here. If you want to have a look at the lateral values, just click down here. Same goes for those values. Back to the chart view. Um, you, down here, you, of course, you see the lateral CG limits. If you um, go over a limit, you will get a warning. Of course, these warnings uh, are relative, um, so sometimes you will have more warnings because you do a lot more things with this program. You cannot see all the warnings at, at the same time. Whatever warning comes first will be displayed. Um, all right, that's um, all about the weight and balance page for now. Let's go to the performance page. Here you can 
up here you can uh, select uh, beta 2 or beta by clicking on the ch uh, chart here you can declutter it or you can select whether you want to see OGE IGE uh, one of them or both so just click here to toggle the various graphics let's concentrate for this example on the OGE so what happens when you do a weight and balance uh, uh, um, calculation I'm sorry uh, you will end up with a certain landing weight, 1 to 1.8 pounds. This, pay, uh, this weight will be forwarded. You see down here, 1 to 1.8 pounds. This slider here, the gross weight slider, will be set automatically to your calculated weight. Now, depending on outside air temperature and your current altimeter setting, your OGE ceiling is calculated. And we do this in two altitudes in MSL and in pressure altitude. So of course the MSL changes uh, with the altimeter setting and the OET setting. So now you um, have the following information. With your current landing weight you can hover to an altitude of 8545 feet MSL. That would be your OGE ceiling. If you want to see the IGE ceiling, click here, but the, the values will be calculated down here. You can see also, uh, you can also uh, superimpose both of them. Now, let's say you want to override your gross weight. Do this with your slider here, and you see how the OGE, the, uh, the uh, ceiling, is changing. Um, this is one way of calculation. The other one is um, use the elevation slider here. Using this gives you a different calculation. It now depends um, on the altitude. The calculation now depends on the altitude. That means, let's say you want to go for 7,000 feet MSL and your outside air temperature is, for instance, 5 degrees. Then you know that your maximum weight can be 1,347 pounds. So this is the other way around. So now you uh, go ahead and, and select an elevation and see what maximum weight you can or you have to have in order to be able to hover over there. So, um, at the same time, your max continuous power and 5 min max takeoff power is calculated depending on outside air temperature settings. Uh, if you want to see the calculations behind it, just click on the instrument and you will see the actual graphics and charts from the uh, pilot's operating handbook. Same goes here for uh, the never exceed speed. So if you change yeah, um, the temperature, let's, let's do a simple thing, uh, 10 degrees, let's set 10 degrees here, and 4,000 feet, for instance. So now you're on this column here, 4,000 feet, 10 degrees, and it should give you 98 knots. There you go. As soon as you move the sliders, all the other values will be um, interpolated. So this is this, the same if you want to compare now the data from the beta 2 and the beta, just click here and now you can do performance um, um, comparisons. Okay, the next page is the flight time page. Here you just start with uh, setting um, a true course, a wind direction, and then velocity. The rest is straightforward. You select um, your airspeed. Maybe you put in an, a variation, a deviation from your compass, and the rest will be calculated. So if your leg distance, for instance, should be 50 miles, then your flight time will be 50 minutes. So um, I'm running out of time on this tutorial. Uh, the maximum time is 10 minutes. So uh, I will continue with this page um, and the helicopter page in the next tutorial. Thanks.